This time on Low Boost, we're gonna show you how easy it is to put a Cobra R wing on your New Edge Mustang. If you have a 2001 to 2004 New Edge Mustang, the bolt holes for your original spoiler line up perfectly with the Cobra R spoiler. If you have an earlier New Edge, like 99 and 2000, I think those spoiler holes are on the sides and they're not easily gonna line up. You'll have to do some drilling. But if it's an 01 to 04 deck lid, it'll bolt up perfectly. You don't need a whole lot of materials to do this. You just need 400 grit sandpaper, 800 grit sandpaper, as well as 5,000 grit sandpaper from when you're done, when you want to wet sand the clear coat to give it that final shine. But there's only four different types of paint or spray that you need to do this, starting off with prep spray. The prep spray is great to spray on before you start, before you start painting your primer or in between primer coats where you're sanding stuff down. You really wanna get all dirt and grime off of it or dust off of it. Prep spray is great, especially before you actually put the actual paint on it as well. I also got Duplicolor Perfect Match Primer. You're probably gonna need a couple of cans of this to do it, but I kept everything Duplicolor just to kind of make it simple. Duplicolor Perfect Match for your exact paint code. They have a bunch of different ones for Fords. So mine was Mineral Gray Metallic. You had to, I had to get this one on Amazon. You can't just get it at AutoZone like some of the others, but it was like two days and these were like 18 bucks for a two pack. Finally, but not my perfect recommendation is, Duplicolor clear coat, the regular kind. This will work, but nothing is actually going to work as well as a full two-stage clear coat, like the 2K, where you have to press the bottom of the can and, and it has a hardener in it that'll give you the shine of like what a real clear coat is on a car. I'm gonna do that on this spoiler, but I'm gonna wait to hit it with that clear coat until I do my front bumper, which needs a little bit of work too. So once you use those cans, it's done that day. So make sure you gotta make sure you have enough to use it for, otherwise you waste it. So I'll save that for a different time. But outside of that, all four of these cans can be used and that's what we're gonna do today. So let's get into it. The paint booth you see here, I actually got for like 40 bucks on Amazon Prime. I could paint anything from the hood to the bumpers to spoilers, you can't paint a whole car inside of it, but you could paint a lot of parts. And in my garage, which I don't have a whole lot of space, it works perfectly. So I'll put a link to all these different things in the description below, you can get most of this stuff on Amazon. It says it's ready to paint right from the rip, but I'm still gonna hit it with some press spray. Before you guys go crazy, there's no end pieces to it. This came with like these that go on the end, both sides, so we're gonna paint these as well. I went with Duplicolor Sandable Primer. It's like almost like a filler. It's not body filler but it is thick and you can get some thick coats on there to allow yourself to sand it down, which is what I needed to do because there were some imperfections on it that hitting it with this nice thick primer allowed me to sand off later. Maybe not as much so as the actual paint, but you definitely have to use more coats when you're using rattle cans, even if it's primer. So I hit it probably three or four times. All right, I'll let that dry for an hour. Then I'm gonna hit it with some 400 grit sandpaper, followed by some 800 grit sandpaper. I'm not using a ton of pressure on the 400 grit. I'm just trying to get it as smooth as possible with the 400 grit before I go ahead and hit it with the 800 grit. But I definitely made sure I tried to get every bit of the surface to make it nice and smooth. So that's what it looks like after 400. We're gonna hit it with eight. I just felt like 800 grit was probably the best to go with because I'm probably going to need a lot of cans of paint anyway, so this might make it a little bit easier as I go to apply everything else. You got to make sure you have a clean surface before you actually apply regular paint. You got to get all that sand and dust off of it. Prep spray is perfect for that. Pretty smooth. It's 400, 800. That part there, I just sanded it down a little bit more because it was a little rough. but. I think we're ready for Duplicolor. Let's see if we can get it. Perfect match. I like got it on Amazon. It's supposedly the same color as the Mustang. So let's give it a shot. Word of caution, especially with the metallic paint, be prepared to use a lot more paint than you originally thought. I actually had to use over two cans of this stuff just to do the spoiler to get it right and to get enough coats on it. 
maybe I wouldn't need to use over two cans if it wasn't metallic, but metallic definitely is harder to get to attach. So I used almost an entire can of that just for the spoiler here. Let's see if I can get in. Doesn't look bad. My biggest problem when I paint is I get overzealous and I apply too much too fast and it runs. So I tried not to do that. I did very light coats on this and I'm going to hit it again. Then I'll put the clear coat on it and then I'll buff it with like 5,000 grit sandpaper. First coat, first pass. That looks pretty good. Obviously there is some imperfections there. Um, I didn't do any body work on the spoiler. I just primed it, sanded it, and painted it. So didn't go crazy here, but outside of those two little blemishes, it looks really good. And that's on the front side, which most people will see the back. So honestly feel like I needed more than one can because that definitely was not enough. But honestly looks pretty good for my skill and probably looks better than the paint that is actually on the Mustang now. I'm about six to 12 inches away, applying long strokes to it. Also trying to start spraying a little bit before I actually get to where I am spraying. That way it doesn't come out all funky when you actually first pull the trigger. And that allows it to not like get clumped up together and run, which worked out perfectly for me. So this is like two coats of clear. I probably got enough in the can to do another one. The flake looks good. Um, definitely needs a little bit more clear. But it's starting to get a nice gloss to it. And it's not great, it's not perfect, but it's actually probably nicer than the paint that's on the car now. So. All right, so after waiting 24 hours after the clear coat cured, I then wet sanded it with 5,000 grit sandpaper. Not hard, just light, just to try to make it as smooth as possible. All right, let's go throw it on the car. Just for reference, it did not come with bolts to actually mount this on there, but some of the generic bolts that I got in a hardware kit at Harbor Freight did work. I started by mounting one in the front and then on the other side and then did the back ones and that made it as easy as possible to mount all the way up. I do wish I got bigger washers, and I ended up putting them on later because uh, I, I wanted it to have a nice firm grip. So mounting the bolts in the back, and I'll put right here the type of bolts they were. Um, started to like crack the fiberglass a little bit there. I had big enough washers for the back ones that worked, but I didn't want to tighten it down too, too much. I'm gonna have to back them out and put big, bigger washers in. All right, so there it is mounted. I'll give you my honest opinion of it, and you guys can draw it for yourselves. But I'll tell you the good. Yeah, the paint went on pretty good. I mean, I'm not the best painter, but that looks good for me. The only things I don't like, obviously I could cut that off with a razor blade, but it's not, maybe try to push it in and fill it in a little bit. It's not like, totally flush right here it sticks up that's not perfect but it's also not terrible the only other thing is I hear with the wing on completely looks like this is almost like cut off I could bend it in and maybe tap it in or glue it in there but the that part of it there is off a little bit I don't love that and then but over here this side is a lot better and the mounting on this side looks better too. I didn't want to tighten these down too, too much because I started to feel fiberglass cracking. Um, and that's probably the lid. And I don't want to do that. It's tight. It's not going anywhere. I'm pushing on it pretty good. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. Tightening it later with a couple extra washers definitely helped it out. That definitely made that more flush. And I think if I hogged out these holes here, or I could potentially bend this so it actually sits a little better, but it's not bad. Take a good look there. That is your view out of the back of the window. Don't mind the mildly sagging headliner in the car seat. Um, that's not, it's pretty, it's pretty visible. It's high up enough where you can still see everything out the back. So pretty happy with that.
That wraps it up for the spoiler install. And honestly, I've actually already taken it to a drift event and it hasn't fallen off there or anywhere else. So definitely thumbs up. Definitely worth the money. I'll put a link to it in the description below. You can get this one on eBay. Definitely worth the money. And uh, let me know what you guys think about my paint job. If you thought it was great or if you thought it sucked. I think it looks fantastic. I've always loved the look of the Cobra R. That's my favorite New Edge Mustang. It's one of my favorite Mustangs that was ever made. So if you can't wait until next week's video, in the meantime, make sure to check out these videos that I already have ready to go.